Hello everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. As always, I'm so happy that you're with me, but mostly because you're studying the Word of God. You're interested in what God has to say to us, and that's why He's given us the Bible. The Scriptures reveal the truth of God to us, and also uh, He Himself is our teacher by His Holy Spirit. He promised that he would guide us into all truth, and he'd also give us the power to live according to that truth. And that's why we always go to him at the beginning of our study. We want him to be involved in our time in his word. So if you will, pray with me today. Heavenly Father, here we are again before you and your word, knowing that you have much to say to us if we'll just listen and hear. And so we ask that you open our hearts and minds, our eyes and our ears to be able to receive from you today. And that you will indeed, by your Holy Spirit, guide us into your truth. And also, Lord, that you would empower us to live according to that truth. We just want to bless you by reading your word. And we're just so grateful for you and what you've given to us. We never want to take it for granted. And we do these things in your son Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is, Mary Thought to Weep at the Grave. And it's taken from the book of John, chapter 11, verse 31. John the apostle wrote how Martha, the sister of Lazarus, left Jesus and went her way and called Mary, her sister, secretly, saying, The Master is come and calls for you. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came unto him. Now Jesus was not yet come into the town, but was in that place where Martha met him. And in chapter 11, verse 31 of his book, John shared how the women in Martha and Mary's house said Mary goes up to the grave to weep there, where we read, The Jews then, which were with her in the house and comforted her, when they saw Mary, that she rose up hastily and went out, followed her, saying, She goes unto the grave to weep there. The verse reads, The Jews then which were with her in the house and comforted her. John began with the words, The Jews then, which means the Jewish people by birth, origin, or religion, therefore, wherefore, consequently, and these things being so, which were with her, or who were alongside Mary in the house, which means within the dwelling place, abode, and habitation of Martha and Mary, and comforted her, or encouraged and consoled Mary at the time the following occurred. John shared how the Jewish people within Martha and Mary's home who came to encourage and console her did the following. The verse continues, When they saw Mary, that she rose up hastily and went out, followed her, saying she goes into the grave to weep there. John added the words, When they saw Mary, which means at the time the Jewish people in the home observed, perceived, and noticed Mary, whose name means their rebellion, that she rose up hastily, or that Mary aroused, stirred, and got up speedily and without delay, and went out, which means and left and departed, followed her, or joined and accompanied Mary, saying, which means uttering, declaring, and proclaiming, she goes into the grave, or Mary travels and journeys toward the sepulcher or tomb to weep there, which means to bewail, lament, and moan at the location of the sepulcher or tomb. John shared how the Jewish people who were gathered in Martha and Mary's home to console Mary observed her leaving and accompanied her as they surmised that she was going to Lazarus' burial place to mourn and lament over him. When we consider John's words in this verse, we learn how the Jewish people within the home of Martha and Mary were not only there to comfort Mary, but were also willing to accompany her when she was going to the tomb to mourn. Though they were not correct in their assumption, their willingness to bring Mary consolation was commendable. Mary wanted to see Jesus. And when difficulties like Mary's arrive, the best place to go is to him. Jesus came to be the Savior and Lord of the world. And anyone who desires to have a personal relationship with him is invited to yield themselves to him so they may be forgiven of their sins and granted everlasting life. Those who are wise will run to Jesus and allow everyone who will to accompany them as they do. Next time, John shares how Mary encountered Jesus and fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother had not died. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. 
as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name.